Ooh, the Yone for energy. Let's fucking go. Oh, wait. Another Rel jungle, I fear. Nah, but whoever put 250 on Dig is actually just getting free low here. Did I see Closer's damage yesterday? No, but I can imagine it was low. What was it? 800? I mean, that that's just Viego to some extent. Like, it's low, but given how the game went, I don't feel like there was a whole lot he could do unless he wanted to just, like, die a ton, which he could have. All right. Fuck, I might actually have to give some expert analysis on this one while Sneaky's not here to turn everything I say into a butt joke. We have see we see Dig with the late invade. Oh, and Santorin mispositioning pretty badly. Dokla's here. Hmm. Yeah, that was not executed very well. With Braum, you should be able to late invade pretty successfully. Santorin just ended up, like, way ahead of his team somehow. Oh my god, Contracts is going for the Rel invade. Oh no, Poom is onto his bullshit. Huh. Pretty good awareness by Dig, actually, to recognize that this is a threat, but... Meanwhile, Tomo had to blow his flash bottom. I guess it was a trade. Oh, Contracts got it. Giga Chad. Did he flash for it? He has Hex Flash, though. Like, I think it's pretty reasonable. Santorin's early misposition just getting punished so hard. He's still- look at this- look at Contracts! He's playing this shit like he's Kindred or Nidalee as fucking Rel. Is this legal? Alright, we've got Quinn coming down. Just got here, why is Rel jungle? They forgot to swap. It's so crazy. Yeah, he was supposed to be playing Rakan jungle. Okay. Yo. 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 You just wake up? Yep. Good morning. Good morning. You see the level one this game? No. Another late invade gone wild. Really? No kills? What the fuck? Yeah. Well, like, D Dig initiated the late invade, but then Santorin somehow just ended up, like, really out of position. Oh, Pelifox! That was close. So Santorin, they invaded Dig? He just, like, he, he like, missed up, and somehow ended up just getting, like, gangbanged by four people. And then he had to flash out, and then Dig was like, alright, I guess, I guess no late invade, and then... Contracts just started fucking bullying his ass in his bottom jungle after. It was pretty funny. Rel bullying. Holy yeah, shit. he like he he invades him at blue, but Santorin smites it, and then he is is like invading him at Grom. Whom leaves lane? Oh, hold up! Oh my god! Grom with the frag. Rose is fucked up. Nice. Rel's here. Huge play. They got the kill. That's a so massive Rel, wave. Yeah. But yeah, so so like he flash smited <laughs> uh Santorin's Gromp. It was funny. Oh. Damn, dig. I I dig. Can they just walk away? Alphox is on the way, but I don't think he, he has no way to connect. Tomo's got some, so he should be fine. Damn. Oh, Poom looking pretty dead. Yep. Peace. 
This is the most successful Aurel jungle has been ever. One whole okay. ass assist. Goodbye, Tomo, not letting these this wave crash. That was a sure death if that wave crashed. Yeah. Look at the mini map right now. Whom and or Ignar and contracts on the way up. And they Herald be zooming. He has to leash it. Full reset there for the Herald. Hesitancy coming out around the objectives even after that early play down bot lane. And even with this small advantage for Dignitas, we'll see contracts that will spot that one out. But Rush, uh, Rich will rush. This is looking like a fat team fight. To kind of pull them off of it. Everybody's coming here for Dignitas. Uh, wow, well, the man, they're giving it up. Holy shit, e EG's tweet. This is pretty funny. What is it? They're just like memeing FlyQuest. Oh, wait, contracts? Big fight. Contracts has no way out. Santorin's also pretty low. Uh oh, both junglers go down. Poom is in that ass. No. Oh, he gets his shield, but he goes down. Oh. Dokla flashes with the Quinn. Hellfox should be able to get out. Jensen has flash. Maybe he's going to try something crazy. I don't think so. The Birdman. But yeah, like FlyQuest subbed out Vikla for literally one game and then brought him back today. Oh. And then EG made a post. They're like, LCS update. They said, for a match against FlyQuest today, Jojo will be our starting mid laner. This decision was pre planned regardless of his Kaisa performance yesterday. We're incredibly proud of Jojo for showing up to practice this week and showcasing a performance against Golden Guardians. The level of gameplay he's demonstrated in, the summer, in LCS this summer, we felt it right to recognize and reward that with an MVP nomination for summer. We will continue to evaluate FlyQuest's performance and beat them for the remainder of the split. <laughs> that is pretty good. A nice little Mimi, I would say. Actually, if Ash and Flash on uh, Redacting there, might have killed Palfox, actually. That he sounds fine. Constant tweets from Vulcan ripping on people. Yeah, but he's getting something ripped. Oh, wow. Wait. Palafox? Did he not have his E? They had no damage? I mean... Huh. It's a rel in a... <laughs> Yone with no E. I guess, yeah. Dude, Quinn is actually so impressive if she's ahead. Yes. She takes over the whole fucking map, like not even just the lane. Yeah, I mean, she's fucking super fast. I, there was actually one of those LOL Dobby videos about some, like, guy who got ring seven or something in korean challenger playing quintop and he did this build he went he goes uh static into gale force oh shit a big engage by energy centaurin probably gonna go down here whom should be okay might have to flash depending on what they got run brum oh they want him they want him i don't think they'll get him by these though good amount in that chase Legit, all the kills energy are getting are of like absolutely no consequence, though. It's like uh, on Sejuani and Braum are the only people who've died, and it's usually like oh, at the end yeah. of the play, like after an objective's taken, which is like pretty whatever. Uh huh. Not very good kills. Rich is such a better name than like Lost. You have to have the positive spin in your name rather than like the negative. Like, like imagine if his name was poor. Like, yeah. <laughs> you don't want to have some. How about, like, how about ugly? <laughs> yeah, you probably don't want that. <laughs> has there ever been a player that has like and in their name, like something and something, like poor and ugly? <laughs> I don't think so. That's, I guess it'd be kind of long. Oh, huge flank here by Energy. Tomo's looking giga dead. Oh, God. This oh, is horrible. my God. Jensen's here, but I don't think this is a good fight. This is still a 4v5. He's got a turret, though. He's chasing him out. Energy maybe giga slice. Uh oh. Contracts look for the hex flash. I don't think there's anything to do. Oh, wait. Yeah, there's gold and glue. True. Whoa. Oh, yeah, and uh, true, man. These are all valid. 
And I think Jensen here with a little pullback in the end is a big difference maker there to get Dignitas out. If Jensen had Everfrost, that's a legit pinto right here. Keeping this from being even worse, just keeping it at those two kills instead of it being completely. People really like this crown on Nazir. He ults back. Seems good against Yune. And keeps. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I don't think it's like a bad item by any means. I think it's, this is a really good game for it. It's meant to be like an anti-burst item. If you don't think you can get away with going I'm like Ludens or Leandries, you think you're gonna get fucking one shot. Like you mentioned, looking for some deep flank angles here mm -hmm. on that Rakan. He can be a difference maker for energy as well, since now they don't have the teleplant teleport flank option from Dokla. And I always appreciate the Poom I think the Rakan in this situation. He got it. Uh oh. Speaking of enabling, should be fine. He's got Gale. Rich in the side lane. He is a very fluid bird. All right, he's pretty quick on the draw, able to make it out of there. But I, I find Ignar's story, Ignar's journey, at least at this point, so interesting. Right, he made all of his fame on on Misfits, came over to FlyQuest. Didn't necessarily have the greatest foray. I feel like if Quinn was ever meta, she'd be one of those champs that would like probably get some kind of like rework or something. <laughs> She's actually just so obnoxious, just like a million move speed and a map pack on a low cooldown. Yeah. Like, like the way she plays if she's doing her thing is very degenerate. Very self sufficient. Doesn't need vision. Just pushes W, doesn't need TP, doesn't need fucking teammates. You just blast a wave, run away. Mm -hmm. I was playing that shit, fucking AD carry for a bit. I guess just taking the base. They just got two tier two turrets and tier three. Do tier three turrets like barely give you anything though. Yeah. yeah. Energy needs to shut down Quinn at some point. It's kind of hard to though, unless he like fucks up. Yeah. He's so fast, bro. It's just gonna be in a team fight. Yeah. You know, you can like uh, E someone and then Gale Force to cancel the backflip portion of it, so you stay on them. Early. Yeah. <laughs> and people were doing that with like Prowlers too. Mm, yeah, that sounds right. And some like crazy burst combo or something. Mm. Ooh, a lot of a lot of engage use for something that's not really gonna work out. Huh. I mean, the idea was there, you know, take control, go on them when they walk up, but that was not the angle. Oh, hold up. Wow. That's a fast clearance, yeah. Jesus. And he's out. They did get his sums, though. In exchange for Palafox TP and Dokla Flash. That'll give him a window to try to repunish. Zooming in the foreign. Already back at Baron. <laughs> yep. Just the fastest fucking bird you've ever seen. We had a little bit of uh, pullback on the action. Both teams trying to find things, playing a little bit aggressive at moments. But now Diggs is going to start this up. But they, I don't think they have the time, though. I guess Energy's ults are down. They're probably just going to have to back out. This doesn't look very good. The nope. question is, does Energy keep hitting it? Nope. Nope. They tried. I mean, I thought it was a decent idea. Like, they use a lot of shit on Rich. He recalls as fast as fuck and get to Baron. They just didn't actually have the DPS to take it out. Yeah, Jensen wasn't even on it. Oh, yeah. I think having Azir on it would help. Do you think if you get a red buff while you already have a red buff, you should get, like, a super red? Yep. Like, all your attacks root them, and you get, what? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. Jensen's actually kind of getting duggied on. Somehow, Pelifox goes what? down. What? Oh, Rich is looking pretty boned here. Oh, Dokla got it. Not exactly you want to shut down on, but not the worst. Jensen's too fucking low to fight. He's got TP. Tomo's kiting them hard as hell. And tickling them all the same. Does Hurricane make Ashes like, cleave auto slow? Uh, yeah. Mm. It's not a lot of damage, but definitely AoE slow. Slowing him. Yeah. What does Tomo have? Call it now. Trinity Kraken. 
Mm, just those two. Oh, you're right. Whoa. Not bad, sneaky, not bad. He's been kind of poor this game. He had Kraken yeah, no and like kills. Trinity components for quite a bit. Oh, Palafox is the... going in on the Poom. Fuck it. We hate supports. That was quite the commitment for a Braum. I guess it works. I mean, <laughs> they they killed Braum. I don't know if I would even call that works. Use everything from Yone. Like now, what what happens when Braum gets back? Mission success, baby. We'll see if they can actually put it all together. It's like trying to form a puzzle piece with a bunch of crazy ones. There we go again. We'll start up the Baron, and we're going uh, round two. Oh, TP coming in now as well. instant flank from Palafox with no ult or flash. He's ult in half a second. Oh god. Oh my god. This looks pretty bad for Dig. Oh my god. Jensen's just zoniad. Flashes out. Wow. Oh. That didn't actually get him away. Wow. <laughs> Disaster for Dig. Wow. That goes so terribly. What the fuck? They like caught Renekton and then he just didn't die and they died. Yeah, I mean, Dig seems to be a bit confused with how their comp's meant to be played. They're like a front to back comp and they keep doing these like very. <laughs> Very overextend engage attempts. Like, oh yeah, this was pretty troll. I mean, that's you're going so deep for oh. even if you kill Renekton here. Like, how, how does that help you win the fight? No, uh, yeah. You gotta just hit who who walks into you. Like, you have a zero, you have the Baron threat. Just hit Baron, they'll walk into you, and then you kill the one people that walk in. You're up against Renekton, Yone. And Rel, like they, their team is 100% a dive comp. Why are you diving in on a dive comp? Just play to peel. If you go in on them, you give them so many angles to get onto your back line, which is what happened yeah. there. Yeah. Big keeps trying to engage, like force the engage by going onto them with Ash ult. That's just literally not what your comp's trying to do. Wait, this looks good. Hey, they're all dead. For, Never mind. <laughs> for who? <laughs> well, they got the setup you wanted. Oh, oh FBI Penta! Nope. Oh, Dig has just been fumbling. Their they played front their line guy destroyed. Really so <laughs> Does Dig need to bring back Aphromoo? Yes, yes, of course. Did he win their game Afro yesterday? Check. Huh? Did Dig win yesterday? I don't remember. No. We were about okay. Select, these types of draft for e for energy when they're much more aggressive. These melee solo laners doubling up so they can always look for. I don't remember who was against, but I remember they were six and six going into it. Oh wait, no, no, no. I do remember. It was TSM. They lost to TSM. Mm. Insanity went fucking sicko dicko mode on them. Oh. Bro, it's weird when we started seeing this Kaisa build like a week or two ago. I felt like it was doing nothing, but now the Kaisas are just doing infinite damage. Yeah. Same items. It's odd. I don't know what changed. Skill difference, maybe? Yeah, every Kaisa player just got way better in a week. Did they switch <laughs> runes or anything? Is it like Hail of Boners instead of Lethal Tempo or something? I think they're using Hail. Some, mm. Somewhere, at least. Dang, Dig is falling apart. This one is Jover. MG's getting some wombo combos and blasting. Yep. Yone on top of I mean, like it's, it's, it's Engage. It's very much self-inflicted by Dig here. They're just not playing their comp correctly. It's whoever's calling to go for these fights, like go in on energy is just not understanding what you're supposed to do. Yeah, and they're getting baited into really bad spots. I think at this point, like you literally can't win. This dig. Yeah, it's pretty far gone. Huh? Palafox picking up the Sterics with zero bonus health. I'm not sure that's very useful. Hmm. 
I mean, it gives you the tenacity and like a 200 health shield, but I don't think that's really worth the item slot compared to just getting a GA right away. Like, just go shield bow at that point, actually. What? Shield bow is just infinitely better. Wait, how does it work with the base AD? You don't get any if you don't have bonus health? Or what? No, no, like, you get... Da damage based on your base ad like the damage will be okay but the shield is based entirely on your bonus health oh yeah, so yeah. Okay. the shield you get is like probably like sub 300 shield or something right now from steric yikes isn't death stance better than both probably death stance is good if you can like guaranteed get kills so i'm not sure in this game like when i'm looking at digs comp I, like obviously you want to get kills this energy but I, I don't know if you can just guaranteed always get a kill when you go in they're like all really defensive oh it's a duel okay okay Holy I'm shit, looking, I'm energy's looking. going oh, in, FBI's oh. 1 HP. Oh, he oh, died, he died. They got him, Jensen got him. He had stopwatch and didn't use it. Dude. Pause champ, is there hope? I mean... Oh? And he's dead. And he's gone. Oh, but he has GA. But at what cost? Oh! Which at what, look at that. That's a steric shield, by the way. You didn't even see it on his health bar. It, where was it? By the way. <laughs> it was like one one health. Oh. Oh, shit. Wait, they're actually what hard throwing. This dragon, bro. <laughs> actually the hard throwing. They lose their soul. Dig doesn't get it yet, but that's three to three. Dude, it's looking like that C9 game from yesterday. How is every game this week a banger? Oh, we going crazy. What would you say if you were Sejuani in this game and you see your Ash pick up a Maw here? <laughs> Yo, you, uh, you have any extra gold, man? Can you sell that thing? Depending on your point of view. Never mind, Palafox is going for a little... Oh, God. That's a lot of damage. Jesus. Steric goes off again. The tickle Steric. That was a fuck you ult from Santorin, actually. I don't know what that was all about. Fuck you! Yeah, push this wave and disappear to Baron. Oh. And the thing about a situation like this, we've had oh, two Kaiser W's landed. For both sides. One big spell swoop oh, three. In the game here. You see the flank contracts looking for that. Oh, big engage by energy. Tomo's getting legit bang. Can they get to his maw shield? He's fucked. Oh, Wait. barely surviving by what? the maw shield. Insane itemization. Oh my god, he lived. Get fucked, sneaky. <laughs> Then I guess he was planning on getting fucking caught. Checks notes. I feel like the mod didn't even do very much there at all. Did live by one HP. Wait. Uh, what? <laughs> Nothing personnel, kid. Oh. Palafaker just slow stroking him from the back, I fear. And he's gone. Oh my god, Braum timed the Q on that GA. Whoa. He's practicing. That's crazy. <laughs> GA is like the hardest one to time. <laughs> is it though? Yeah. It's four seconds. Yes. I feel like GA is easy to time. How is this game so close? 200 gold diff, 3 dragon. Oh, actually, they have soul. Slowly trying to push in on bottom side. It's a 4 1 split push opted for by Dig. Contract is on award. It's a little bit dangerous, though, because they don't have the best vision to support the rich split push. So their 4 1 is going a little bit slow for Dig. Rich now on the next menu. Oh, big engage. Oh, God. Jensen. Uh -oh. And he's gone. Tomo's uh -oh. gone. 
They get managed to get him down through the mall. <laughs> Dude, look at Redekton's health, by the way. That was Ash attacking him like the whole time. Yeah, I mean, Ma is <laughs> actually a troll item here. So is Trinity. Unfortunately. I mean, the Trinity is actually, like, it's popular. I don't love it, but people at least do it, and I've seen it work. But imagine that Hurricane Ma was like Bork Lord Doms. Renekton is getting legit two tapped. He'd be closer. He probably wouldn't kill, though. He would get legit 1D. Oh, yeah, for sure. An actual one bang. It's a banger. GG. Damn. What a fucking wild game. God damn. Wait, what was that background? Look, it says bet, and this is coffee. <laughs> it's like fake sports arena? What? What is it? Like, it's not a sponsor? What is that background? <laughs> it's a theme today? What's the theme? What the... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> hey, come on, come on. This is MVP candidates. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, this is funny. <laughs> American gold medal. Let's fucking go. Wait, it's football themed? Olympics, maybe? Does that mean they got a touchdown? Mm -mm. It's actually so comical, bro. After one game. They bring Vikla back. Like, what the fuck was the point of that? Yep. They just hopefully fucking struck gold th throwing in the... What was his name? Spyrax or something? Mm-hmm. Just hope he accidentally turbo smurfs. Wait, who was the team uh, Fly played? It was lower Yesterday? tier, right? Yeah. NRG? Energy? Okay. Maybe they had some logic of, like, playing the lower seed... Try out the new guy. There's not many teams lower than FlyQuest they can play against at this point. <laughs> well, not necessarily lower than them, but like, uh, I don't know. They if they believe there were weaker teams. Even if you can get your opponent locked in lane where they don't have sustain and they have to take a really poor base. So we'll see if he can find something like that. But speak up down here around bot side, bulking at a flash in there. Legit, nobody could have expected this shit from FlyQuest. At the beginning of the split, everyone was putting FlyQuest number one or number two. Oh! Mostly number two behind C9. Yeah. And then they even were talking about, like, how crazy their scrim results were or whatever. With, with them doing bad on stage. Anytime I hear that, I think, like, clown. Yeah. Clown nose. Uh, I don't really even know how that occurs, if it's even, like, a thing. I mean, it can be from, like, doing things in scrims you're not going to do on stage, or, like, punishing mistakes people make on scrims. Like, I don't know, a lot of times just playing, like, snowball-y shit and, like, getting ahead early results in scrim wins, but you don't really learn that much doing that. Uh-huh. I actually, I could care less about my team's win rate in scrims. Is I care more about just like doing the, going through the motions correctly in scrims. Like you win because you played correctly and you like. Uh, Vulcan. Dude, he's ganking the wave. Come on, he's getting some minions for Vikla. He, he know he needs some help. I mean, to me, like. It's kind of like a couple of variants with scrim results. It's like if you're losing like most games, it feels pretty fucking bad because then it's like you don't really know what the fuck is supposed to work. Right. But then yeah. if you're winning too many scrims, you end up just playing whatever the fuck you want. And then those things become not real. It's like you're just playing troll picks at that point because you're like, all right, like we can just win with anything. Yeah. It's very hard to stay within the like. Yeah, we're just going to keep playing like what we think we're actually going to play on stage kind of thing. 
really here for. Yeah, it. or you're just like abusing some really turbo broken shit in scrims before people realize it's broken, but then all of a sudden it gets nerfed and you start losing every scrim. But you never really learned how to play the game properly. You were just winning, doing anything with this overpowered ass pick. So then you start. Oh, oh. Oh, he flashed. He that flashed. was a good vision toggle. Yeah. The buffer on the rocket jump was massive. And then there's just the regular where like you're scrimming, you try and get feels. You know, you you win some, you lose some. Not necessarily a fifty percent win rate, but Yeah, I mean I, I think scrims should just be about like practicing your teamwork and whatnot. Yep. Like the stuff you can't practice in solo queue. Communication. Fucking coordinating like plays around dragon, early stuff. Mm -hmm. Playing with Pryo. Oh. That guy's dead as fuck. Forgiven, looking dead. Ayla has flash. Oh, he's dead oh, too. Gets caught by the rel. Boom. Oh, let's go fly fam. Okay. Dude, this roster swap of putting Vikla in is actually <laughs> working really well for fly. It's such a fucking tried morale boost. Armeo can't focus after what he did to his bed trying to make it. <laughs> did you see it? He literally took three and a half minutes to make his bed. I heard you complaining about it. It was so fucked up. The fuck did he do? I don't know. Tucked in the sheets. Fucking just rubbed one out really quick in, in his bed. I, I really don't know. Oh my god, Vikla! Okay. Holy fuck. Really showing why he deserves a spot. Smoked his ass. Uh. Oh. Slides out. Rel jungle is busted, dude. I've been saying it. Looking decent for sure. My wife left me, but at least I have Medios. So true. Let's go, Medios. Medios would never leave me. He's so handsome. Oh, uh-oh. Vulcan looking a little dead here. Oh my Somehow god. Mayo also looking dead. Oh. Wait. Oh, Ayla missed him. Oh, and... Huh. Runs it down into do? the turret. Actually, no, that was good. He gave Vulcan the kill. Can he get the recall off? Not good for his ego, though. Ooh! Nope. I mean, JoJo's jump should be up soon enough. Nah. Why did he E the wave? <laughs> <laughs> Could he not, like, E. Rel and try to reset his jump? I don't think he'd get out. Did but something happen yeah. to your stream? Everyone's spamming sneaky F. Wait, really? Yeah. Oh, it just froze for a reason. Oh, it's because I closed my league client. It froze. Nice game. Hmm. Yeah, I deserve. What the fuck, man. Deserved. Yo, we back. I closed my league client and it froze my OBS. I was going to open PBE. Vikla. He's alive. Oh, my God. The killer instinct. Oh wait, Jojo's fucked. He he actually got toasted. What's going on here? What's going on here? Ooh, it looks like a big dive coming in. Unforgiven flash ults out, but they got enough to chase his ass down. Bye bye. Uh oh! Holy shit! Is this the fly quest we've heard rumors about? <laughs> All it took was them putting in Vikla. The 100% scrim rate. 
They've win. had this 18-year-old Korean mid laner rank one NA solo queue, <laughs> and they're just now putting him in. That's crazy. Honestly, hats hats off to Papa Smithy. Just this insane general managing decision. <laughs> I can't believe he's been cooking this hard. It's actually kind of crazy they like broke up that G2 like setup roster. I think it's because of perks though, right? Like the perks AD carry, caps mid. Mm -hmm. I think it's because perks wanted to play mid again. Yep. He said, oh, I don't like AD carry. <laughs> but it was like somehow just the secret sauce to success for them. I mean, I guess I get it. Like, like jungle or something. I mean, I feel like he never really actually wanted the role, but just kind of had to. No, he, he didn't. He just didn't want to lose to Cap, so he's like, "Fuck it, get Caps on our team." Yeah. Uh oh, that's a star walking. He's oh. taking forever to. Okay, he didn't even die. All right. Oh, there it is. Oh. All right, EG's getting a little bit toasted They're here. They're fucking this dead. This is the EG's mo, just getting completely. <laughs> But fuck! As soon as they fall behind a little bit, for real, dude. How are they so consistent about that? What the fuck? Because, I mean, they're forcing plays when they're giga behind. They're going for a fast play. Yeah. When they're so weak, and it's like you know, if you're stronger, maybe you bang Jace and you can get out. But it feels like they're just—they're not really calculating. Like impact TP behind them right away. Like all of FlyQuest is here. Yeah, they're probably making some gamble that Vickla is just overextending, going for the first thing that's offered to them. But, you know, assuming your opponent's paying attention, it's probably not going to work. Armeo legit on tilt since he tried making his bed. Sork boot aftershock Maokai. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not too in love with the build. Also green smite. So, like, he's just slow as hell. He doesn't have face rush or blue smite. Actually, yeah, FlyQuest needs... Pretty much most wins from here now. Yeah. I mean, they have to be ahead of Immortals, which... I mean, Immortals did win yesterday. Legend. Bye-bye. Penta? Penta? Doubt. Oh my goodness. It's a slaughter. Okay, let's go. Let's fucking go. They did it. They ended. Let's go, FlyQuest! Dude, my numbers on Twitch are actually going all over the place. Like, I can't tell what my viewer number or sub number is. Every time I look, it's, like, changing by a drastic amount. Really? How is Spika getting the first place? I don't know. Holy fuck. What is this matchup? LeBlanc top or is this Casio top? Looks like... LeBlanc. LeBlanc into Orn. Not sure how that one goes. Maybe Summit died so much yesterday that it's like, real bro, let's put you on LeBlanc to be <laughs> safest champion. <laughs> oh wow that really doesn't stun nah that's my experience playing poppy bro every time i play her i'll have like the most free wall bang and it won't bang then i play against a poppy i'm in the dead center of the map i get stunned against the wall two thousand yards away see it they didn't burn the flash they didn't have any tools down yeah Look at how close this is, because it's gotta look definitely a again. very good angle for Jojo. What? Dude, what? Huh? He went through the fucking tower! No fucking way? That shield on the front of the tower doesn't count as tower. What? That's a fucking bug. That's actually a pause and remake. Nah, I respect the people who don't pause. Fuck you. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm not a little bitch, man. Like, one play is going to warrant wasting everyone's time. <laughs> Yeah, what if Poppy died there? Then should have stunned. <laughs> so it's his fault? Oh. Uh. Oh. 
Surprised you flashed. I mean, did he know LeBlanc could auto attack him though? Like, if he didn't know LeBlanc had an auto, mm. I guess not. Try to find something there, but uh, has to find the right angle here. Not even gonna go for the tower this time potentially. Knowing how it didn't go. You have to build armor and MR against this shit. What's gonna happen here? Oh. Pause. Oh, dead as fuck. Wow. Yo, can our uh, can we get some jungle pressure maybe? This guy's ganked me twice mid. He's coming from behind my tower every time. Unironically. Wait, Cassio could go static, right? Uh, right? I don't think so. Oh, Pio6 hit. No flash. Oh, shit. Bowie's just going to go in on his ass. Pio6 looking pretty dead here. Chime gets the two-man knockup. Yon has OP guns. You can't go into him. And a whole boot to work with. Turtle built Trinity for us. Uh, it was yesterday, right? On Ash. So yeah, he's probably going to do it again. And I do it again. Size gold deficit, and it's gonna get bigger as the rift trail is getting pushed down pretty quickly. That eyeball pop should be enough. And Team Liquid increase the gold lead here, picking up the rift trail for some turret plate usage as well. Support double recalls. Oh, there's the light switch we were talking about in the trap. Oh, oh. nice little petrifying gaze. Holy shit, they got Cassio. That was close. That was a one way trip for Nocturne. Yeah. Wow. Uh oh. That That's the awkward. classic rel, bro. You just try QWing someone to poke and you are under their turret. <laughs> that happens to me every time I play. What if you're like under their turret already trying to poke? Mm. Oh. Oops. Oh. Oopsies. They come away with a 2v2 win. And they have deep wards in the jungle to see Piosha coming so they don't overchase. This TSM bottom lane has been so reliable. Turtle and Chime. Oh. Uh, he's burning. Oh. He says you can't push me that hard. Wow, Summit flash? flash from what? From Summit. Yeah, Summit was scared. There was the actually no follow up to that. From Hanser, don't look ignite from Orn. You have the possibilities of getting your all in and uh, does get a little bit out of him, but Pyoshik, Boogie is slowed by a, so much he's right now. He's fucking dead. How the hell did he get there? Just crab fight. So good groundwork done for TSM to get the dragon, but they pay the price on top side. Uh oh. Monster looking a little dead here. How does he get out of Oh. Yeah, I'm not sure how he's making it out of this one alive. Guess he doesn't get out of this one alive. Mm, I feel when you're not the main character, unlucky. He was just cast as an extra. So fucking sad. How the fuck did he end up in this matchup anyway? Orn versus LeBlanc? Like, he was last pick, right? I mean, they're red side, so I assume he was last pick. You would think so. He either blinded Orn or was like, yeah, I'll play Orn to either Cassio or LeBlanc. That sounds like a good idea. <laughs> No, they're just confused. Excuse me? What? I sneezed. Oh, I couldn't hear it. Fuck you. Okay. I'm getting a side salad and there's nothing you can do to stop me. Do it, bro. I'm transitioning to a salad main only. Let's fucking go. Have you ever tried the carnivore diet where you only eat meat? No carbs, just meat. Uh oh. 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 Can they get insanity? He's so low. Surely he goes down. He's just getting banged by CC. Oh. All right. Summit gets shut down. Poppy gets it though. Not ideal. Uh oh. Wait. No. Uh oh. Poppy. Something happened. AP is just too crazy or what? Wait, who got the shutdown on the Blanc? Orn did. Oh. Unlucky. Who on TSM can actually deal with the Casio? She's really good against like 
these low range, low damage champs. Yeah, I think like a uh, Trinity into Hurricane into Maul looks pretty good here for Ash. No flash here for APA. Can hit that. Oh! Hey, okay, I guess they can deal with Cassio. She gone. He's fucking dead. I Where's thought, the team? I actually thought he sniffed that, but he didn't apparently. Or maybe the range was just too stupid. It works anyway. Yeah, I mean, if he's by himself getting Orn Nocturne cheese, it's gonna be pretty rough. In the team fight, I don't. Oh no, turtle! Oh. Whoa. Hey, it's Are they going to get him? Yeah. Oh, Insanity gets him. Okay. Oh. Monster goes down. Wait, what? Look like the Haunter die. He got banged in the river. That's not good. Meteos, can you come out of retirement so Peter can make it to Worlds? Can't take another game of closer. Who the fuck is Peter? Yeah, who the fuck is Peter, man? Peter Zhang? Peter fucking Pan? Don't let that guy sell your car. He will steal it. <laughs> you will drive off to China with the what, car. Whatever happened with him? Did he just fucking ride off into the sunset? Didn't he go back to China? I don't know. As time goes on, it's going to be something where it's going to be a back and forth between them. As we see pressure that had already been established in top lane, pressured even. I mean, once you're canceled, you may as well just never exist anywhere. True. Oh my god, APA is fucking oh! deep. Yeah, I guess when I said they don't have much ways to deal with Cassio, I didn't uh, expect Cassio to be. Under the tier two turret, getting completely finger banged. <laughs> oh goodness, flushed. Oh shit! Oh fuck! I'm in there. Yo, team, help! Help! Uh, it's, it is a mini Holy fuck. Yo, guys, I'm so fed. There's nothing they can... Oh, oh shit. <laughs> All right, TL. You've got a Casio and an Aphelios. What we do is we just hit the fucking Baron. Let's go. Oh, Let's go, baby. Baited Nocturnal. Nocturnal. Through some serious mind control tactics. Okay, Boogie, no flash, no ult. Just, just hit the Baron. Hit it, hit it. Come on, get man. TSM. They're on Baron. What are we gonna do? How are we answering this? We TP in. All right, we got him off. But now we have no TP. What about the bot turret? What about the bot turret, Medios? Somebody help the bot turret! Oh! Oh! So fucking low, dude. How much? What's the number? If you could Click it. What's the damage? They clicked the fucking Three. minion. Click the turret. <laughs> Keeping Baron vision clean. That's good. I think I'd like to see Cassio top to pressure Baron rather than being bottom. Oh, we see the hard engage coming in. We get the flash out of Cassio. Sure. Okay. We just okay. Oh wow, are they actually gonna get him? Holy oh! hell, he got banged. And the one HP turret doesn't help him very much. Oh, he's gone. Insanity's kind of deep as hell. Oh, the Moonlight Virgil misses. Moonlight Virgin. Moonlight Virgin. Wait, Summit tried TPing to the turret? Ooh, that's awkward. All right, trick question. Wow, getting on this tower. What's Alu What's uh, Ophelia's wife's name? Sister? That's why it was a trick question. Fuck you. You also said the name in yeah. the question. Yeah. You really fumbled that one. I goofed it. I goofed it. I think we, we run it back from the start. Uh, now nah, you already know the answer. Mm, okay. <laughs> Have they said anywhere in the lore if it's like... Is she a platonic sister? <laughs> oh, wow. And they just get Baron off that? I mean, they they have Cassio. That is literally her play. That is cat. Like that is how you fight on Cassio. You just walk up to Baron or Dragon and you just start killing it. Gets one shot. 
The enemy's surprise. Oh my god, they just, they did Baron? What? Yeah. What's up? Huh? So what does uh, platonic mean here, Medios? Platonic basically means it's like no strings attached. I see. And then you asked that about his sister. How do we make sense of it? I mean, you have to have a deep understanding in uh, ancient Greek philosophy to really understand it. It dates back to the the person Plato and oh. his uh, ideals. Wait, I know Plato. Yeah. The stuff you ate too much as a kid. You got yeah, trouble. yeah, that stuff. But like, why did they make it so colorful and tasty? How are you supposed to eat it? <laughs> Tastes just like candy. So salty. <laughs> Almost as good as glue. God, don't get me started, bro. <laughs> I've been clean for, like, literally three weeks. I don't want to go back. Oh, my God. Boogie's just in? That is so deep. Surely he just goes down. Cassius not dying. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of what I expected it to look like if he's getting solo dove by a Nocturne with an Ornol. Was Insanity not able to get in? Like, they... they... What? Oh, what? What? Oh, I couldn't even fucking see, dude. We're just recalling in, in Kaisa W one shot range and getting hit by it? Okay. How fucking low was he? Low enough to get killed. Okay, so where's Insanity? Oh, he gets fucking Poppy ult stopped on his ult. I think he was trying to follow up. Mm. I mean, if they kill Cassio, they... I don't know if they necessarily win the fight, but it goes way better than that. Oh, oh. oh my god. He had Wait, Baron, had yeah. flash. He literally could have flashed in front of it. True, true. He's trolling. He's trolling hard. All right, we've got the soul coming up in a minute 30. TSM pretty behind in gold at this point. They're not really playing like they're that behind in gold, though. Cuts down the rest of the diving TSM and they're right back at but TL it. is pressuring the, the two lanes. Right LeBlanc takes turrets way too fast, bro. Like, what is this? Just fucking looking, looking like Jace out here. Fat ass AP. Four, four, four items. Yeah. Should get a reset here from APA. He is now level 16 as well. As we're starting a position around this dragon, about 30 seconds till that spawn will be soul for TSM. As APA will TP the mid lane, Team Liquid are looking to be first and first. More of oh, the unstoppable. I don't know if they can. Dang, that almost looked like a decent angle for TSM when TL funneled in that choke. Nocturne ulting and Orn ulting that choke would have been so hard for TL to fight. Definitely yeah. Dangerous. Oh, we've got the Luden's Tempest completed. Whoa! Actually, I don't know if that's still the name. It might be. Oh, Yawn gets hit. Yawn gets hit. Chime pops the... Oh. Oh. Yo, where's the initiator? He gone. Uh-oh. Dragon's fucking dead. A bit. Oh, Haunter's in there. They knocked her to ult. Oh, uh -oh. Boogie is on to Yawn. The stopwatch comes in. Oh, he's Yon's fucking dead. He's, he's got flash. Oh, oh flash no. Away. Oh, not away enough. Oh, oh. Okay. Kill turn the fight around. Ash goes down. LeBlanc goes down. Everyone on TSM. Secret really low. snake in the bush. HP. Wait, can he, can he, he 1v5? Before. They don't 1v5. Really have damage to kill him. They, they should legit leave. They should legit leave before they get montaged. They want, they want oh. to get montaged. Oh, the fear is going to connect. Oh, Where's the fear? No fear. No Where's fear. Where's the fear? Oh, he died. Wow. Dude, where does damage go? Did he miss Qs? He must have. I really thought he could have killed them all there. If I was TSM, I legit would have bailed on that. I feel like if Cassio played it properly, he kills everyone there. Uh, oh, he's got a fucking Aegis in a cloth armor. I see. That's why. He forgot he's an AP mage. Damn, bro. TSM's actually putting up a fight being down so much fucking gold. Yeah. APA was getting zero damage off this fight. Wow. I don't like how he played this. I mean, I granted, part of it was Nocturne ult, but he was actually, like, just not participating at all. 
Oh, the arrow comes in, does not hit anyone. TSM needs to back up. You don't want to chase through this choke. Ooh, awkward from TSM. I think TL might have a winner and just hit Baron. Yolo it in their face again. Just kill it. Just hit it. Sandy needs to land some poke here. TSM, the team currently down over 3,000 gold. With the big team fight victory over TL by Dragon Pit, they're going to have to have another one in them if they want. Hits Yon, but should be able to heal it up with the red gun. Pause. Well, guns after the red. Okay, he's got chakrams. We're good. We're good. No purple in sight. What's no that fucking blue? That better be a green after the blue, or I'm pissed. Okay, Ornalt comes in. Doesn't really do anything. Oh. Baron's just going to go down. They're just, they just get it. It's dead. They just get it. Boogie didn't even want to try to steal. Boogie is like the least. Oh my god, what Wait, the hell? Wait, what the fuck? Huh? Boogie is so uninterested in trying to steal objectives. Huh? Dude, insanity low key out here smurfing on everyone. He really do be. I hope he can continue doing this once. There's no static shiv to abuse. Because <laughs> he, like, he, I, I'm not gonna sugar. He is abusing the fuck out of static shiv, but he's also playing it really well. Better than most have been. The rise of NA mid. I think Skerrick's on Nocturne here is not the worst thing ever. I mean, he at least has health from Stride. Actually, I don't. I don't know what uh, upgraded strides called. Is it the Dream Shatter thing? Guard Breaker. Yeah, that's TFT thing. Uh oh, Summit getting Giga jumped on. Surely he's not just getting caught this badly as the Blanc. No. No. Oh my God, he goes down. Chime somehow gets it with the Ignite, I guess. Summit is super consistent at getting a lead and then throwing it the fuck away. Oh, my food's here. I'm gonna grab it. Don't, don't let any big fight happen. Okay. Once APA gets his gargoyles finished and has that extra big shield for the Casio, standing at the middle with already having to deal with the defensive ultimates and getting through the poppy, I think the the poke really is gonna be what has to turn the time. I'm back. If anything is Yo. Is APA building gargoyle? Yeah. That that is a common item on Casio for whatever reason. They're gonna need a bit more of that Couldn't tell you why, but it is. Tanker Mans. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Tanker Mans. Yep. Uh oh. Oh! Oh my Sandy god. Gets the dragon. That's soul. What? It's but he has. Uh oh. Boogie gets on Yon. If he gets feared, he's dead. Yep. He gets bye bye. Fear. Bye bye. Oh my god. Kaisa comes flying in. Takes him down. What can APA do here? Oh! Ash goes down. Orn's tanking a lot. They actually can't fight? It's not. I don't know. Weird. I mean, Tur Turtle got banged. Not really sure what happened to him. Weird. All right, let's see this again. Just auto it. <laughs> oh, 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 my God. Pio sick. Oh. Come we man. we auto attack those. Mid laner, getting the dragon. Come on, Piosik. Even though they lose the extra one, they got the soul. They get the big objective. Let's see. Mm, Turtle was grounded. I guess. Yeah. The Cassio W. I guess made it pretty awkward. Is this actually the right build for Cassio? It's so weird. I don't know. Like, it does feel like Cassio doesn't have that good of a build she can go. Like, no matter how you build her, it's always going to feel like you're either too squishy or you don't do enough damage. Yeah. Her, her range is too low. Like, you have to be tanky enough that you can actually get in range with people. But then you don't really do damage if you build like this. You also have to go through the front line, so... You need pen. Need pen, need tank items. I think that might be why she's not played that much, to be honest. Wait. Oh. Okay. The TP out. Not totally sure what we're doing here. I guess they're just going for the fast fight. Ooh, arrow goes real wide. A little bit of a whiff. Now TSM's in an awkward spot. I, Insanity needs to go bottom. They won't have their poke. 
Unless they just want to give their whole base to summon, I guess. I don't know. Heal should not look for a fight here. Oh, summon's just gonna recall. Yo, 10 gifty. Oh, no, Thank you, Wolf. Wolf Caddix. Appreciate it, man. ESM has plenty of vision. It's just gonna be an... A good old standoff in front of Baron. Let's fucking go. It's already melting. It's Fuck it. I have to imagine this is going to be better for TSM. Nocturnal in this situation. With Rakan? Oh, oh, they jump in. Yon oh is getting God. legit banged. Oh, Yon! Oh, he's oh! getting the Nocturne. He barely gets out. Nocturne's in the ACA. ACA goes for the flash. Oh, oh my God, wait. It's in any... Oh! Literally no damage. Oh, my Andy God! Gone. It's over. Damn. It's over. <laughs> oh oh Wait, my what? God. Wait. What? Two W's and he died. What the fuck? Where'd he go? He gone. It's over. It's actually Jover. No, TSM. I actually popping the fuck off. What the fuck? God damn. Not APA's best game, to be honest. He was doing well, and then he just started dying permanently. I mean, he, he had, like, the biggest fucking lead ever and just really didn't transition it into anything. Yeah. I mean, I kind of get it. Like, Nocturne Orn. Perfect. Kind of fucked. We're back. Let me move my... How was Riot not nerfing Kaisa, though? Wow, Insanity's like, yeah, I'm gonna take that first place, bro. Get the fuck out of here. Dude, I, I like this metal thing. It's actually dope. I wouldn't mind if they kept it. Nah, they shouldn't keep it. It's nice every once in a while. If they did it every time, it would get stale. Wait, double lift Lee Sin? Whoa! Wow. They say, all right, closer. I know he's not meta, but I've seen you do more than 800 damage on Lee Sen before. So. <laughs> did you see that L last game on Diego? He did like 800 damage. Really? Champs. Yep. That's so low. Yeah. The fuck? I mean, I will say in his defense, it was a pretty fucked game and he could have just like suicided to pad his damage. But I feel like I would rather do that than just look like a coward. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't double of zero four ten minutes into the game? Yeah, he. They lost a two v two fight, even though Nocturne was there. I think maybe he could have got out. If Nocturne wasn't around, and then they just started getting focused hard. Dude, recently I was actually looking up what it would be like to be an underwater welder, and, and apparently that's like a real risk for them. It's like. Your welding stuff in the water gets so hot that the hydrogen and oxygen molecules separate and it causes an explosion and you die. Holy fuck. It's like one of the most dangerous jobs you can have. What about the sharks? Are those a risk in the water welding? Yep. That is also a risk. Oh, double lift. Oh, they win the 2v2. Oh my god. Closer's here. Goes down. Closer's oh! here. Already Take working it, you up pussy. that damage number. I would have taken it. I would have fucking taken it. He would have got a lot more damage if he took it. I'm just going to admit it. I would have taken it. How many bones do you think a shark has? Six. Depends if it's a boneless shark or not. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. He didn't think about that. Don't sharks have like 2,000 teeth in their mouth? Do those count as bones or what? Mm, not usually. How many dicks does a shark have? Like, they probably just have one bone, right? One boner? Uh, can you grow up for like one minute? I'm asking a legit question. Do I, no, you're not. Do I not want to answer? You're being a her and we've talked about this. What do you mean? God. What do you mean? God, dude. <laughs> they have two dicks? Actually, the people were typing actually two dicks. How do they have two cocks? Since when? How do sharks even have babies? Aren't they like... Can't sharks not stop swimming ever? They like die. Okay. <laughs> 
What do you mean? I thought that was like a shark's thing. They just have to permanently be moving or they die. <laughs> really? Yeah. How it's like that. That's it's like how their gills work or some shit. Like. We can just give it to them. I mean, Jeff, sex while moving. It says some sharks can stop moving. Does the water not just like? How does that work with gills like flooding in? So in water. I actually thought about that. It's like yeah, they it, like they basically can't breathe unless they're moving. Oh, they're going in. Busio. Probably going down. Yes, he goes down. Oh, wow. Is there a cleanse that? Oh, no. Double lift. Not like this. Dad, no. Okay, closer's here. Come on, closer. Oh, forces the flash. Sven probably going down here. Oh, they should have let closer W to double lift so he got him <laughs> Or some damage. Wait. Well, I don't think that would make him do any damage. Wait. Oh. Quid. Quid. Wait. Charmed a minion. Closer again, oh my. no assist. <laughs> Surely we let the man's W. What the fuck, dude? No assist on that whole play. But he was there. He was actually there. What if sharks were the second most intelligent thing on the planet? And they start developing, like, uh, civilization? Mm -hmm. And they start yeah, wearing top hats and shit? That would be fucking crazy. Holy fuck. Oh my god, dude. That would just be actually epic. And then the sharks like go and land with their like land suits and they have, yeah. to, they have to land weld. It's, it's a dangerous job for a shark. Dude, yeah. Well, like the... What do they call it? Not the... <laughs> he knows too much. They call it much. marine wildlife. What do they call it? T terrestrial wildlife? Yes, yes. Would you be friends with a shark? Okay. Like, walk around and land? I'd like to, if it would promise not to bite me. <laughs> <laughs> they develop, like, mechanical fucking legs. I've definitely had dreams, like, multiple dreams like that at some point in time, <laughs> that I had, like, a shark on land as, like, a pet slash friend, and we just, like, rolled around together. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> Holy fuck. Not recently, though. I think it was more when I was younger. <laughs> Why is there no shark champ in League? There's only Fizz, but that's not really like a shark. Rek'Sai is like pseudo. With the... Oh, double lift. Oh, no. No, dad. Wait, did Blabber just smite that? Or was that his ult that got it? I mean, Rek'Sai with the fucking the scuba skin, the closest mm, thing we true. got. Yeah, yeah, that is a shark. Anyone watch that video of a guy getting eaten alive by a shark last month? No, that sounds fucking awful. Oh. How did they record that? I don't know. Why didn't they help him instead of recording it? <laughs> I did. I saw a video of one guy who was like taunting a shark in the water and like he, I don't know. I don't know. I think it was a bull shark. He was in a boat, maybe in the Everglades or something, and he like the shark fucking bit his hand and pulled him into the water. Mm. I think I might have seen that. Do people eat sharks? Uh, I feel like I've heard of shark meat. Is it good or what? Oh, closer, do it! Why does it Can closer take these cues? Can we please see damage? Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. I need to know. Shark fin soup. That That is very familiar sounding. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, big rumble ult. It's getting oh, no, toasty. Flash that way. That's oh, not a Berserker! Berserker! C9 kind of overcommitting for him. They got a little bit horny for daddy. They oh, fucking something hard. goes in 1v2. He gets Sven. I don't think Blabber has him. Actually, maybe one more Q, one more auto. I think they have Blabber. Oh my goodness, 100 Thieves done did it. Holy moly. Uh -huh. Oh. And Minus gets one back. Oh my god. Oh, 
be a difference maker in these 5v5s. Hunter Thieves got the first two dragons and would love to continue stacking, but it's going to be a difficult approach to the fight. You can see how respectful Double has to be, walks all the way back towards that wolf's pit. No sums. But I mean, man, it is hard to walk in here through all these Maokai saplings. And all right, C9 starting up the dragon. Lucio looking for a hex flash, doesn't find anyone. Jace poke does not hit. Waiting patiently for the team fight. Waiting. C9 has a lot of poke. What is Hunter Thieves' plan here? Oh, Ari goes in, trades oh. Charm for a hook. That's not a great trade for Squid. Oh, but he lives! <laughs> Survives with his passive healing. Sunday goes down. Busio getting roasted. Quid, one HP. Wow, that went horribly. Oh, are the minions going to turn and bang him? What the fuck? Oh my god, fuck? if he died to minions, that would have been fucking hilarious. It would. Damn. Did she get oh, full zoned by Rumble? The hell happened? Fight for 100 Thieves. I don't know. I mean, Quid went in. Charm Nautilus, but also got hooked. Someday kind of has a flank. Oh. Huge Rumble ult with the Malachi. Wait, that's actually a nasty oh. combo. <laughs> Double lift literally can't hit the whole fight. He got one auto attack yeah, off the whole fight. He got Literally stalled one. super hard. I mean, it's awkward for 100 Thieves to fight that. Like, C9 has a fuck ton of poke and zone control, as well as engage. You for kinda, sure. You need some good positioning or, like, to get on MNS or something. Hmm. The tempo TP comes in. Quid is camping. Surely Eminus does not face check that bush. Take the shot, Eminus. Oh, ah. hits Quid. Closer's waiting. He's got the flash. Oh, he's going for the kick. Oh. Smooth kick on to Eminus. Eminus has flash. Can he do oh. it? He's cc for days. Wait. Oh. My Wait. God, surely he doesn't. He lives. Oh he my fucking, lives. fucking God! How does he live? No. Now Sunday's in after everything's said and done, and he's fucking gone. Despair. Oh. No. Hundred thieves <laughs> is gone. What the fuck? The twelve and O Maokai from Blabber. He's undefeatable. We can watch this one more time. You know, the initial play was good. I don't think they were aware the closer is here. I, I think Lee Sin may have gotten close to his previous game record of damage with that play. Some days TP was really late here. Not saying that was like the reason they lost, but I think it could have gone way better if he was able to get in like as Lee Sin went in. He did zero fucking damage. Jesus. Kenan? Yeah, I mean... C9 is pretty fucking tanky. Yeah, it's like on Rumble Nautilus. Ow. Damn, Shock Blast done hurted. It's over. It's looking fairly Jover, I agree. Just a couple minutes away before they can push in this way. Find one more fight on 100 Thieves. The risk tolerance for making plays is now at an all-time high. You have to just do something. There's no point in just letting the game be... Oh! Huh? <laughs> what? What the fuck? What the fuck happened to Dad? His butthole. Dude, he got he ravaged. 80% health. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, I feel like Double always dies in the most crazy ways recently. I know. You see towards the end of a lost game. Holy shit, dude. Just fucking exploded. Literally, Shock Blast into Kaisa W. What's it called? Prey Seeker? Kaisa W? Yeah. Perhaps. What do you mean, perhaps? You play the champ. I don't fuck. Well, you think I sit there and read the stupid ass ability? He was a Cathy in rain. That, that, what is the E, though? Yeah, let him in. Supercharge? Let him in. Get me out. Fuck this. <laughs> 
turret will fall as well. Dredge line. Oh, the flash kick. Dude, get him, boys. Oh, my God. He kicked his ass. Wait. Wait, guys. Guys, hello. Come on, give double some kills, dude, for the fans. For the boys. Oh, oh. Wow, Fudge is really going to end pussy. Dude, they almost did the Meteos thing, the throw in a competitive game at the, the fountain. The Meteos thing, not the EG thing. The Meteos thing. I mean, the. it wasn't EG, the FlyQuest thing. Dude, double his tummy hurts. You can't blame him for this game. Really? Yeah, he said, oh, my tummy. Then he started oh. rubbing it. Oh, his tummy hurts. <laughs> my oh, tummy. They, should, they should reschedule oh, me as a Nick. tummy ache. Oh. I don't feel so good. Oh. oh, my God. Get this bitch down. Give him the wine uh -huh. bottle. <laughs> Yo, is Ven on his toes? Look at that shit. Sure. I'm sorry, Berserker. You're going to have to get off the second place. Holy shit. Man, Bo Lulu just refuses to pick anything, like, remotely good. I know nothing about the dude, except he likes picking low-tier champions. Ziggs, Velka, Zoe. LS said Ziggs was OP? Okay, my mistake. My mistake, then. I think it is a pretty decent champ into his ear, but, I mean, he's just not strong in general. No mobility, everything's dodgeable or, like, stopwatchable. If he gets ahead and he does this thing where he kills, like, every single turret with his W, then, like, he can do well. But even we saw yesterday in TL's game where APA was so fucking fed, it, it he wasn't even able to do that much in most fights. If you ever fall behind it with his eggs, like, you just stall the game out forever and then lose. Oh, Nautilus versus Maokai jungle battle. Oh no, nobody told Sixay not to get the purple gun. Dude. Wait, he got purple in a team fight, Meteos? Yeah. What the fuck? It's like he doesn't even want to win. I thought Sixay was the Aphelios guy. I did too. And then he pulls out the Gravitum. Gravitum happened. Oh, wow. That was a nice combo by MT there. And there's just nowhere for, to, for him to flash, right? There's nowhere for 6A to go from this. Trace is so far ahead of him that even if he flashes, he still probably gets ran down. Probably gets stabbed again by the big stick. By the pole. Trace is good at Rel. She, her, the timing on her abilities is just so weird. It feels clunky as fuck, but probably if you play her enough, it doesn't. Why are they so small? Who? Who's small? They. Who was they? They, them. They slash them. And who art thou? Oh! Flash in onto tactical, gets his summoners. He turns around onto river, but I don't think they have much damage. Oh, six they get a flash in, run him down. And he's got him. Boom. It's a good prediction you have five seconds ahead of me. Oh! Holy shit, he died. Oh, did you uh, pause your stream for five seconds? Don't think so, actually. I don't think so. Let's speed up. All right. How about they buff Aphelios? They make his purple gun only have 10 bullets total anytime you switch to it. Holy based. That'd be awesome, man. You should join Freak. Okay. Oh. Whoa, 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 Ooh, those whoa, traps whoa. really didn't get him. Uh-oh, Stixa getting caught. Can be with the flash hook. He looking dead. Oh. It's just a tri-lane bottom. Two supports. I think all players should... What the fuck? My stream just froze. No! Oops. Uh... All right, surely I'm synced. 
Dude, 11 minutes on Baron? Holy fuck, that is awesome. Holy fuck. I'm excited for that 11 minute Baron to spawn. They're just fucking diving him instantly? Wow, it looks like okay. it works. Wait. Nice play, guys. Where is uh, Hoohee going? <laughs> uh. <laughs> what the fuck? All right, he baited him. <laughs> that was crazy, bro. What the fuck? He was walking at him like he just fucking owned the place. Like, he's literally nothing they could do would kill him. And he just... My oh, shit, there I go. stream froze again. Can you pause, videos? Yeah, I'll pause. Look at this shit. How did Tactical end up with aggro here? Did someone reset it? So Shriek pulls aggro. Looking. Too far up. Looking. Oh, oh, God. Somehow Tactical starts tanking. Two hundred and fifty heal. Full HP. I mean, even they still had a Renata W that wasn't even close to proccing. Huh. I wonder if who he was like, yeah, I'll die, but I'll take the plant out so they they're stuck. That legit might have been his thought process, which. Honestly, ended up working. Two for one. Fuck it. If it's planned, of course. I mean, I, I think that dive could have worked. They just rushed it and somehow tactical got aggro. Yeah. Oh, solo looking a bit dead. A little bit dead. A little bit dead. Goodbye. Reggie had a tweet. I saw it while I was on the shitter. He said, good riddance. To who? I don't know. He just typed it and sent the tweet. Where did Raul go? Oh, Azale said good riddance when they were announced they were leaving LCS? Really? Oh. It's a weird thing for Azale to tweet. But then why did Reggie Someone tweet Someone said, how do you feel about a special Dyrus and Odwin suing Reggie for emotional distress? Not sure if that's a cap or not. <laughs> oh, he said, not making stuff up. I see. I was going to say that. Oh. Haven't they seen the movie Whiplash? The worst thing you can ever tell someone is good job. <laughs> Then they get complacent. <laughs> mm -hmm. Immortals have been playing better this week. They look like a team. Azale said good riddance as he emptied a fat load into my... I don't think that's... Uh, oh. I don't think that happened. Jesus. Okay. That was a bit of a whiff. Wow. Nice uh, dodge by Gory. And Bolulu's Dude. <laughs> Was that his satchel got him over that fat ass wall? Yeah. <laughs> Holy fuck. He crazy. River says fuck it. Yeah, River really said I'm killing your dumbass Kenvi. I don't care. <laughs> Jungle combat. He said I do not care. Oh no. Bro. Dude. Every game is so fucking bloody. What the fuck? Is it Rel? Is Rel what's making the league fun? Are we Rel fans now? Yes. Rel and There's some Nautilus. champs that make games fun and some champs that make games boring. I'm all about the bloody games. All about that good time. All about that good time. That good time. Yoink? That was a long range auto. Yeah, that's weird looking almost. This game has stalled the fuck out. One dragon to one dragon. Spectre's cowl on Jax. What is that going into? Visage? Or, is that Abyssal Mask? Could be. Actually, it would be pretty good to Abyssal Mask game. Haven't seen that on Jax. He also went Sterics, which is weird. Sterics makes me think maybe Visage. I think he just wanted to have a spooky ghost in his inventory. Mm. Oh, they're just going to hit it. With the zero Filios, where could they be, guys? Where are they? But they're against Ziggs. Can oh, you actually Baron against uh -oh. Ziggs? Who he gets hooked. 
he is getting absolutely blasted. I can you bear to get six? Oh, oh my! Oh, oh Wait. god! Oh god! Wait. It's a flip! It's a flip! Oh! Nautilus gets it! Oh god! Oh god! It's a disaster for the Guardians. Tactical flashes the Azir alt. Oh my! Whoa! The first flash is in. Can he get Bolulu? Stick say big him? dick says him. Uh oh. Rooted, oh, slow, slow, fight. slow, dude. He's like Ash. He's like Ash. Slow dude, again. I've been saying Purple Gun is so OP. Yeah, yeah. Why don't they go Trinity Force on Aphelios and just only use the Purple Gun? That's basically playing Ash. Dude. God, that would be so good. Anybody else sweeting? Sweet? The uh, fuck is sweeting? I don't really know how you sweet. IMT has so many tanks, actually. Three full ass tanks. No. All right, and it is the visage picked up for Jack. Oh, oh my mm. God, that Jinx ult! Wow, that was impressive. They are just sending that bitch down top lane. Go, go, they have the go, one Baron go. on solo. This is Meteos's favorite play ever. Let's see if the punish comes in. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Wait, it missed. Oh, it missed. It missed. Doesn't hit, and their Malkai ult. Jax doesn't, doesn't get in. He's dead. Yeah, IMT's He's fucking. Well. Wait. Wait, he's chilling. Holy fuck! How did IMT oh! peel that? Oh, River goes down. Oh! IMT do the all top and get away with it. They're cooking, bro. They're cooking in the kitchen. I can't wait for Arcane too to cover the Zed Syndra story instead of this Jinx bullshit. I thought it was going to be like one region per season of the show. I hope we get some closure next season. They don't just end in 20,000 cliffhangers. <laughs> one big bomb. That's like my only complaint about Arcane. Well, I think the sex scene was troll, but... <laughs> I don't know, man. So many shows nowadays feel like they're not actually trying to give you like an entertaining thing to watch. They're just trying to get like renewed for another season so like so many shows i try out on netflix or whatever are just like 30 different cliffhangers and they're just like going to their execs and they're like yeah I bet you want to find out what happens next don't you don't you bet you want to renew the, the fans are desperate and i'm just like dude i'm fucking done with this show you're if you're not even gonna give me a good ending like i don't even want to watch it <laughs> I don't think they kill licorice. Yeah, I mean, ending a season's on a cliffhanger, cliffhanger's kind of fucked up. Should be done, like, rarely. Because normally if you're going to blue ball, you're just like, you got to watch the next episode. Not yeah, I mean, wait two fucking years. Cliffhangers from episode to episodes, whatever, that's pretty normal, but... When, like, you never resolve anything. <laughs> like, there was one show I was watching on Netflix that, like, the first season actually hooked me in, like, super deep. I don't know if I want to say this show because I might spoil it, but like it felt like they didn't actually have like anything after that plan. They like they just planned it was going to be like an open ended cliffhanger and then they started making more episodes and it just started getting weirder and weirder and, and just bad. <laughs> like, nothing was ever explained or like tried to explain it and it was bad. All right, just name drop the show. Fuck it. It's called Manifest. Hmm. Is it new? Uh, I don't think it's super new. Oh? Golden Guardian says flip number two. It's fucking dead. Oh, if Jinx got that, that would have been fucking hype. Well, wow, Kenvi is in that ass, and he's gone. Uh-oh. Licorice is in. 56 damage crit? Did I just see that? Huh? Immortals wanted to get that dragon, and sure they did, but you give up the Baron on this one. Kenby gets into the pit. GG Jover for who? Actually, for who? And they will <laughs> yeah, wait, what the fuck? <laughs> Jax actually has zero armor. And Jinx is critting him for like 56 damage <laughs> with his ult up. What the fuck? <laughs> Must have been a fucking Renata shield or something. Let's see it. How does it happen? How does the legendary 56 crit come into play? Oh, 
Yeah, okay, it's a shield. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> Dude, why is damage to shields not, like, counted on stuff? I think that's dumb as fuck. Because, like, to kill somebody, and the, if they got shielded, like, you have to go through the shield. It's just extra HP. It's just temporary HP. And it's not like it's any less resistant. It's not like the shielded health has zero armor or mar. Like, the shielded health is, in theory, more valuable. Do so you think Grievous should affect shields? I mean, sure. You could do it that way. They only have one anti-shield item anyway. But, like, I mean, in, ju in just in terms of the, like, stats and shit. Like, if you check an item and you, like, Gale Force into a shield, it'll say you did zero if it didn't break it. But it's like, I mean, I fucking did break it. So then you just get, like, weird numbers. Which just makes it harder to get a fucking read on things. Oh my god, Kenny hooks the wall! Somebody's dying. Oh, licorice. Deep is a motherfucker. He has stopwatch though. Kenby goes down. They're diving in front of a Jinx. Diving in front of a Jinx. Jinx is not attacking anything. Why does Licorice look so tanky this game? Is it just because IMT's comp does no damage? I think that's part of it. It's like Jinx is the only one. Oh actually my god. Him. Oh my oh. god. Sixay is trying to do it to him like he did double lift multiple times. Excuse me. As Licorice came through mid. Is able to just run in on them, push them back. They step up, they kill off the tower. Yes, he almost goes down, but he has the Sterics pop. He has the zone used to buy time. And they just really... Licorice has flash, right? So yeah. He could look for it. Gory has flash, so he could look for it as well. That's the big thing we're looking here yeah. for this next fight. I mean, Dragon is coming up in 24 seconds for a more... You're looking like you're kind of caught, Renata. No, he's got W. He's fine. He has the bail on, he throws up the oh, get a, kill, get a kill! Get a kill! Oh! Dude. Why didn't he just kill somebody? Oh, Solo flashes out. Balula flashes out. Uh-oh. Bye-bye. Uh, all of a sudden, he's playing Ziggs. Uh, so unlucky. Solo killed by Azir in that fight, by the way. Yikes. Oh, Licorice wants more. Oh, flashes in on Kenby. Does he get the stun? No. Nope. He has him. Oh! Oh, hold on. Sticks Wait. A. He's fucking uh, dead. Oh! Whoops. Wait, tactical. How did that happen? He got smoked, just like 6A tried to smoke him. Wait, wait, River's fucking dead. River's dead. Wait. Oh, it's here! Oh my god, never mind. He baits him. He, he actually got a penta. Unofficial penta. That was crazy, actually. Holy fucking meatballs. He's such a tanky build, too. That He has Zonia and Banshee. And he does that much damage. Vegan Azir. Wait, they did it. They did it. Positive record. Guaranteed. Plus one. Wow. That's amazing. What? River gets a medal? Oh, everyone gets one. Wait, two medals on Licorice? Oh, holy fuck. That's crazy. How do they all have gold medals and Licorice has two? Oh, because they're the Golden Guardians. Wow, flowers. This shit is funny. Wow. I like this bit. It's so pretty. Oh yeah, Captain Flowers should give out the flowers. Eh. All right. I got a piece, Sneaky. Okay. I must head out. Okay. I will see you tomorrow. Okay, I'll see you in 20 minutes. 25. Peace out. See you, man, I guess.